So for today's tea time, I'm going to accept the Tim Tam challenge. Actually, it wasn't really a challenge, but I really, really, really want to eat these Tim Tams. Tim Tams. And remember, friends, there is no substitute for quality. So a little bit about these cookies, if you uh, didn't already know. Uh, these were sent to me by my Australian friend, who is totally freaking awesome. And um, it says at the bottom, they're apparently the most irresistible chocolate biscuits. And I totally believe it, because I do believe they are the most irresistible biscuits. Plus, who could say no to a parrot on the packaging? There's a parrot, and he's writing a message with his beak. So that is a win. So today's tea is murky tea, which is this lovely tea right here in my mug. Murky tea, it's the murkiest of tea. The best tea ever. So I'll be doing the challenge with the murky tea, the Tim Tam Slam, because according to my directions here, my explicit directions from my Australian friend, it says that I need to, um, you know, have a mug of Warm milk slash tea. I gotta bite the corners and then <laughs> use a straw, or use as a straw for my favorite milk or tea. And then once you feel the milk or tea reach your mouth, you put the whole thing in your mouth. So uh, that is what I'm going to follow. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy my little experiment here. And if you wait to the very end, there's a special commercial I'll be filming. Yes. Step one, got to open the tin pan. I've been dying to smell these things because they sound amazing. They probably, oh my god, oh, smells so good. <laughs> smells so good. Yes. Okay, so they come in little, like, individual little, like, cubbies for each of them to live in. So I'm already amazed by this wonderful, awesome biscuit goodness. Gotta bite the corners according to my direction, so biting away. Why is this awesome? Because <laughs> it's from Australia. Oh my god. Do I get a close up? Close up? Can you hear that? Oh my god! <laughs> it was really good, but I failed at it. That was the best biscuit, and they really are the most irresistible chocolate biscuits, aka cookie, in the whole entire world. Guess what time it is? Tea time with the Sepha Bee Tea time with the Sepha Bee Tea time! Woo! Hello peeps out in YouTube land! It's Senva here and I just want to do a quick little uh, BJD tea time talk. And I really wanted to taste those Tim Tams and now that I'm done with my exams and all that crazy weird stuff I was able to film and not feel like I was gonna die the next day because I was studying my butt off. So, uh, anywho's, this is kind of like a random, random BJD tea time talks, but just to kind of let you know what I'm gonna be talking about today, I'm gonna be talking about a special announcement that I have. I'm also going to be talking about my good friend Rakan Ichigo and her freaking fantastic bows. Here's a sample of some of her bows. They are gorgeous. They look good on any sized dolls. I have some on my SDs and I have one on my MSD here. They're beautiful. And so I'll give you more information about that. And then I was going to go ahead and give you guys some updates on some other random stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do the first thing on my list. The special announcement. So guys, I am super duper duper excited because there's a convention that I'm planning to go to which is called Omnicon which is located further further south in Texas um it's a kind of small I'm assuming it's a small con it's a two-day con uh and I had been bugging 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 uh sending emails and things like that I felt really bad because I kept messaging this person that did the Omnicon and asking them about a BJD panel and I was curious about it because there was nothing on the website that said like, you know, like send me a message if you want to open a panel. So I was kind of like, well, I wonder if I'm kind of just like 
pushing too much and maybe he already has things lined up for his con. But anyway, long story short, he finally, you know, was able to write back to me and I got super excited because I checked Facebook and he was like, oh, what you doing? You sent me an email. So I sent him an email and luckily, oh, <laughs> I'm going to host a panel. I was so excited. It's my very first panel. I am super Super excited about this. I don't even care if just two people are going to be in the room, which is going to include myself and my dolls. I don't know, but like really honestly, uh, I'm just excited to be actually doing something at a con. And uh, if all goes well, hopefully this will kind of snowball and I can do more and more cons. And uh, yeah, because I'm super ready, you guys. I'm super ready to do some fun stuff at some cons and bring my dolls and talk and spread the dolly love and all that goodness. So, yes, yours truly will be doing a con. So, yes, if you are going to Omnicom, please stop by the panel and I will give you hugs and uh, lots of my love. And all my dollies will be there. A uh, majority of my dollies will be there. And basically the panel will just be kind of like general information. I'll talk about the BJD Addicts group. I'll talk about um, just frequently asked questions for the hobby and whatnot. So, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so second topic to discuss today on my Tea Time Talk would be these awesome bows. These awesome bows that are in my girl's hair right now uh, were all made by my good friend Rockin' Ichigo, which I will be posting um, her a link to her DeviantArt, in which she's going to possibly start her business through DeviantArt, maybe expand it somewhere else. But go check her out there first. And she is going to be making these super duperly awesomely cute, friggin' adorable bows. And I have a couple just to show off today. Um, like I said, my girl's wearing these red ones. Uh, when she gave them to me, they came in these really cute little bags. I don't know why everything is a lot cuter when they're in smaller packaging, but it was super duper cute to receive them this way. But here's another little pair of purple and black ones, and these are really cute. If you've seen any of my pictures of my girl, uh, Yue, she's wearing a pair of turquoise ones. And so they look really cute, like in the MSD or, um, SD range size dolls. Uh, I can put one in Umi and it's probably gonna look just as adorable. Let me go get one for her. And like I said, friggin adorable. So SD, MSD, or Yo SD, these bows make an awesome cute accessory and they're just so darn cute. Look how cute Umi looks. That's like incredibly adorable. So yes, please go check her out. She's um, starting some pricings for these bows and she's going to sell them by pair and it's going to be maybe about two dollars. She'll have more information on her DeviantArt page so please go check her out because they're awesome. So while I'm at it highlighting some pretty cool awesome things that I have for my BJDs, I thought I would go ahead and do a quick little highlight on Stacia Starburst's jewelry again. She had sent me some jewelry in a peel box opening that I did um, a couple videos back and she sent me different sized pieces, some for Yo's, some for MSD's, and some for SD's. And I gotta tell you, these are really pretty, 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 pretty pieces. Um, my girl, Yue, is actually currently wearing one of the pieces, and if you watch Perfect Crime, she's wearing it in the video too. So this is a little USD necklace that um, Umi is modeling that Stacia made. Super cute, like really, really nice. The little beads and everything are really cute on her, and it was super easy to put on. And even though I didn't give her measurements for my yo, it was like superly, perfectly fit to her. So very, very, very cute, 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 cute stuff. So she also makes other sized jewelry as well. This is an MSD piece and a SD piece. Very, very, very cute. I really like the cat's eyes beads on this one. Very awesome. And they're awesomely made. They have the lobster clasps and everything really cool. So if you want to know more about her jewelry and just check out what she has, please feel free to look at her on DeviantArt. I'll be linking her items below. And stop on by and check it out. So, uh, like five minutes later, I noticed that my camera ran out of memory. And so I didn't get any of the footage of me talking about Rumati. So... If I seem kind of like, bleh, it's because I already said this and now I feel 
dumb for having to record it again. But updates on my new doll, which is modeled after an anime called Hana Sakeru Sei Shonen, which is roughly translated to the flowering youth or something like that. Which is a reverse harem anime, and if you like that, then you should totally watch it, because it is totally awesome, and who wouldn't want to watch a show filled with hot guys? But anyway, um, yes, one of the characters that I'm totally in love with, his name is Rumati, and he's like this foreign prince, and I loved him so much, and I was just like, I need to have a doll of him, of just him. So, um, my quote-unquote impulse buy from what my, you know, sister tells me, but I really honestly do love him, uh, was that, <laughs> um, I wanted to model him after Rumati, and so I'm even naming him Rumati, and, uh, he's, like I, I think I've mentioned before, he's a tan-skinned Mai, and, um, just got updates on him, Emery sent me an email, and so now I have a tracking number, and I've been tracking him, I think he just left San Francisco, so I hope Hopefully, we'll see him by next week. I'll be thoroughly surprised if he comes in by Friday, but I'm not gonna, you know, press my luck or anything. I'll just be happy just to have him. Because I ordered him back in November, maybe, or something like that, or January, no, it was it December? I don't remember when I ordered him. It's been a while, so I had to wait for him because he was, like, a separate order, but... Yes, I'm super excited that he's coming home, and I'm going to, like, totally spaz out when he gets here, and it's going to be awesome, and I love him so much. So since I am uh, actually you streaming while I'm doing this video, someone requested to see Rain, which, yeah, here's Rain, you guys. Yay, Rain! He hates me for doing this. Yeah, I don't know. He's just... I haven't really written anything for Rain. He's kind of like... I don't know kind of on his own. I really don't know what to say about him other than he's just extremely independent. I don't know if arrogance the word or what it is really, but yeah, that's exactly what Rain is. He is, um, he's like a stuck-up prince, I guess. Sort of. He needs a crown. You know, I should make him a crown. That'd be kind of magical and he could like have one of those like side crowns and he'd be all like cool and he's like, I'm so cool. But yeah, I think I like him a lot because he's different, so yeah. Rain. So upon further discovery of my fails, I found out that I didn't even get the story behind Sophie, which, uh, this is my girl's name. Uh, I, my mom actually named her Sophie. Um, she is the 50 centimeter Obitsu with the Alice head. And it's funny because out of all the dolls that I have, my mom is very particular when she comes in and she looks at my dolls and she's just like, that looks so weird, or blah, 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 but, like, when I went to show her this one that I got in, she was like, oh my gosh, she's so pretty, like, I really like her, and, like, you know, out of all your dolls, you know, she's not creepy at all, like, I really like her, and I was like, oh yeah, thanks, mom, but, like, she, uh, she liked her so much, and I told my mom, I was like, well, I want you to name her, so you name her, and my mom kind of sat and thought about it, and she came up with the name Sophie. I thought it's really cool because a lot of my dolls have different kind of like names. I've got some like dolls names that have Japanese names, Spanish names, Hawaiian names, Chinese names. So now I've got like this one that's like, I don't know, it's, I probably can find it in some country. But yeah, Sophie. And it was really cool because when I went to go show it to my sisters, I was like, look, look at her, mom, uh, mom named her Sophie, she's like so cool now. You know, and then they were like, oh my goodness, she even looks kind of like Sophie from Howl's Moving Castle. And I was like, oh my god, she totally does. But yeah, so anyway, that's the story for Sophie. And I'm sorry it seems so rushed, just I was editing and I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't get this story either. So yeah, anywho, that's Sophie. She has her face up. The only thing I'm kind of disappointed with is her eyebrows, which I guess doesn't matter because you can't even see them. They don't even show up. But yeah, I love her so much. She's so cute. Cute, 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 cute. So this is totally random. And 
It's been a while since my teacup is empty because I already showed you guys my empty teacup, but it didn't record. So, once again, Rain and I are waving you goodbye, and we hope you have an awesome day, and we will see you guys in another Tea Time Talk. Please stay tuned for the Tim Tam commercial that I have created, which is crazy, and some insane bloopers. Bye! Bye. Tim Tam Tim Tam Tim Tam Slam Before eating Tim Tams, you gotta have your tea! And of course, you gotta have your Tim Tams. First, you gotta take a bite out of both ends of your Tim Tam. Then you use it as a straw, slurp that tea up, then you shove it in your mouth, and BAM! You got a Tim Tam Slam. Go get your Tim Tams. Now. Australia. Brings us the Wiggles and Tim Tams. Life is complete. <laughs> NH2O. <laughs> I've got a special power. The guy. The guy. Because Kai was wearing it and I was like, I love this jacket. It's the coolest thing ever. It's just like, screw you, I'm in the matrix. <laughs> like, it was like, it's like the coolest jacket ever. I hate life right now. God, I hate it. <laughs> Okay, are you recording? Yes. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Mooney, for showing me slash cutting my wrist. <laughs>